guys, so right now I've got a Patreon inspired video for you courtesy of Evan Lee. So Evan is super cool because he's been getting me to try new things. Last month it was playing some Bioshock and this month it's watching an episode of Chef's Table, that Netflix show that uses each episode to profile a different chef. The one Evan wanted me to watch was season two, episode one. It's the one about Grant Ackett's. As some of you probably know, I'm not really into cooking all that much. The only cooking shows I've ever really enjoyed are the ones that have some sort of competition or game component to them, like Chopped or Cupcake Wars, which I like a lot. Chef's Table was different though. It's not a competition, but based on what I saw in this episode, it's a very personal show. And whether you're into cooking or not, getting to learn about how someone else achieved his dream and then pushes himself further will really strike a chord. Evan recommended this particular episode to me because he thought I'd find it relatable, and that was definitely the case here. Ackett's is someone who found what he wanted to do with his life very early on and then took every step forward he could until he finally got to open his own restaurant, and that's Alinea in Chicago. One of the things I found most inspiring about this portion of his story is how he took the necessary steps to build a career, but never without a good deal of self-reflection and considering what his individual goals are as a chef. And that leads to another thing that I found very moving about his work and his process, and it's the constant change. Ackett's didn't open Alinea so he could come up with a solid menu and just stick to what works. He wanted to create an experience for his customers, a borderline theatrical experience. And on top of that, he wanted to keep things fresh and interesting for his staff and himself, encouraging everyone to keep creating. It's an interesting thing to consider because in most areas of my life, I'm a creature of habit and I like consistency. And then I also have the founder on the brain right now because I really do love that movie. And in that, we learned that consistency from McDonald's location to McDonald's location is key. So you can go to any McDonald's McDonald's anywhere and know exactly what you're getting. But on the flip side of that, especially professionally, I'll always want more. I love creating new things. I love growing in ways I didn't expect. And it's exciting to see that mentality in the restaurant setting when I tend to focus on consistency in that industry. In addition to career goals and challenges, the episode also covers a very serious personal problem for Ackett's that he struggled with, and that's cancer. And not only must it be devastating to hear that you've been diagnosed with stage four cancer, but it was a carcinoma of the mouth, and it was something that stripped him of his taste for a period of time. And really, who out there doesn't worry about something similar happening to them? I just really appreciate Akita's willingness to share his story because he persevered and maybe someone out there is going through something somewhat similar and needs a little hope and they're gonna get it from his experience. So yeah, clearly I took a lot from watching this single episode. On the technical front, it's a very well put together, well shot show and one, it added to my admittedly limited appreciation for cooking. And two, I just really responded to the very personal story here. So Evan, thank you so much for putting the show on my radar. I'm really glad I gave it a watch. And for those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon campaign up and running right now. And that November deadline is coming up fast. So if you'd like to suggest something for me to watch and review or really any random video you want me to make, you can find a link to the campaign page in the description section below. And as always, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you real soon.